Elimination of you becoming a president of Nigeria and giving the highest national honor of the country to lead the country, I think it's a well deserved honor and Nigerians will be very pleased looking at what he has gone through. From 1992, when Senate was annulled, to June 12, when he has to leave the country, now coming back, becoming a governor of Lagos State and becoming a president of Nigeria, after building so many institutions, I think it is well deserved. Tima, uh, when he was in uh, Borno as governor, we have full confidence that they are going to deliver, consolidate, expand what has been put on the ground by the present administration. Uh, thank you very much. One minute. Thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, invested with the honor of GCFR and Vice President GCON. So um, this is a, what he has done is just going by the act. And then uh, in the past, I know that was done at the Eagle Square, but this was done now on a special program so that that is just the swearing in of the new president. By Monday, the president will be leaving. What will Nigerians be missing about it? Well, of course, you know, uh, President Buhari is the darling of the nation, is the father of the nation. Like the president-elect has said, he will still be expecting, you should be expecting knocks on his doors, wherever he goes to. So he's still going to be the leader of the nation. The, the occasion is historic and epochal. And it, it signals uh, a very peaceful transition of power from one administration to the other. And uh, it also is a major sign that, yes, indeed, democracy has taken roots in Nigeria. And then, of course, we are the beginning of hope for Africa. So the international community, all Africans, will be very proud of what they've seen here today. And I, I, and I must applaud the outgoing president, President Muhammadu Buhari, for setting the record, even signing the Executive Order 14 to make this an, an, a, a normal event whenever there is transition of uh, power from one administration to the other. And so this, this is wonderful. He's setting the tone and setting a pace for continuous growth and progress of democracy in Nigeria in Next a very answer. peaceful way. Next now, month, the National Assembly will be inaugurated. How far with your ambitions? We, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are doing our best. And we leave the rest to God. And what will you be telling the incoming senators? Yeah, I, that they should uh, focus on His Excellency, Senator Gosu Lakpavio, as, uh, as, uh, for, for, for the leadership of the 9th, of the 10th uh, uh, Senate and the National Assembly. And, and that, yes, indeed, we will do our best to bring about uncommon transformation in our legislative procedures. Best of luck, sir. I just want to give God all the glory. Uh, it was an event that looked like it was never going to happen, but we thank God that we are here. And uh, I'm sure that uh, with what we have seen today uh, and what we'll see the next uh, few days, our story in Nigeria can never be the same. Uh, we are moving from glory to glory. There are challenges, you know, and uh, everyone is conscious of that. But I can assure you, a, a team is coming on board that has a scientific understanding of what is to be done. Thank you so much. All right. The event that just took place today, especially the confirmation of national honors and the president and vice elected. Well, I think in addition to that, all the three events that we witnessed today are quite outstanding events for our nation. That Nigeria is celebrating the transfer of one power, one power from one administration to the other is indeed, as concluded by Mr. President, a big gain for all Nigerian people. Because we have seen, particularly challenged by the economic environment, the world found itself. We have seen countries unable to manage transition from one administration to the other, both in Africa and elsewhere. So that we are doing so today with fanfare, with cooperation from all, with celebration by all Nigerians. It's a testament that Nigeria is truly uh, a country that has come of age and that President Muhammadu Buhari today superintended the award of Grand Commander of the Federal Republic to President-elect Aswa Jubola Ahmed Tinibu and as well as GCON to 
Vice President elect Senator Kashim Shatima in a very joyful, convivial atmosphere is a cause for celebration for all of us. Equally, the, uh, the handover of button, which is symbolic, one, one president, as in the words of President Muhammad Buhari, I have done my bit and now I'm giving it to the next one, is quite, quite significant. And we pray that this button will continue to pass on to future generation of Nigeria's leader, leaders in a united, prosperous, proud Nigerian nation. Equally, the transfer, the uh, handover of transition documents, which was not done before, guided by Executive Order 14, which President Muhammad Buhari signed even before the election took place. I am privileged and honored to be one of the two nominees of the president-elect on the Transition Council. And that is quite an innovation. This Transition Council had worked assiduously, guided by the executive order, to collate, produce, and process documentation that will guide and support the hitting the ground running of the incoming administration. So we, I, I, to me, I'm very, very proud to be a Nigerian to witness these three events. In a very short sentence, um, what would you say to Nigerians who are pessimistic about the future? Yes, there are people who are hopeful, but how about those who are still nursing some pessimism about the future? What's your message to them? I think some fear, pessimism are quite common, but we are a nation that should be proud in itself. Diverse we are, yes. We can do better, yes. But we can do better does not mean we have not done well. Many countries in the world cannot measure up to many things. I schooled at one time. Schooling took me to New York. There are areas in New York City that are as horrible as what one will describe in the Boko Haram infested areas where your chances of coming out of alive is quite diminished. But they don't, they don't use, it didn't please the U.S. system. Places in other cities in the U.S. is like that. Many countries are like that. We, we had had economic challenges that saw people losing their homes so banks collapsing, particularly the 2008 collapse in the U.S., but it didn't stop the U.S. economy. It didn't make people migrate from the U.S. They say, well, look, as unfortunate as it is, let's start again. We are a resilient people, and that's one of my source of pride. From Yenogoa to Sokoto, from Ilaje to the shores of Lake, Bok uh, of Lake Chad is hard-working men and women who are proud to go in their farms at 4 a.m., who are proud to bake and sell akara at early at 6 a.m., who are proud to work hard and take care of their families. All they needed is a break, and the government, led by President Muhammad Buhari, has introduced a lot of innovative uh, solutions for everyone, for those at the low level of income strata, for more ambitious young men, so that we build a society where our young ones will take on the world. And I believe uh, Nigeria is, as ever, a pride to all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.